hi. You know, I used to um, have a friend. She's my neighbor and, and she's a friend. And uh, she used to come to my house all the time smoking and uh, she used to smoke. And she used to tell me, uh, to talk to me about all her problems. And I didn't mind it because I had the awareness of dealing with such things, such topics. She didn't talk to me as uh, me being a specialist in, in, or a consultant in, uh, you know, healing and, and relieving people from their pain, emotional pain and uh, physical pain. She was talking to me as a friend. She needed someone to talk to who can understand what she's talking about. We all go through this and one of the reasons that I had severe depression is I couldn't find someone who can listen to me, understand me, understand what I'm talking about. And, you know, some people, it might lead them to committing suicide. It is that serious. We as human beings, we cannot say that it's better to be away from negative people whenever they want to speak about a problem is bothering them because in the end we are humans and even specialists and even coaches they need other coaches to deal with them and, and to handle their problems all of us we have problems and all of us we we go through uh, 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 emotional pain to the extent that sometimes we feel suffocated and need to speak about it in my uh, sessions, I don't need to listen to the problem because it's a special technique and I've never seen someone who's doing it, especially in the Arab world. Uh, it's only from the person that I learned from and then I made uh, progress with my studies and I had my PhD. And in, in, in this way of dealing with the problems, I don't need to listen to the story of that person, but I let them speak because my main thing is to know the negative feeling which is causing that person pain. And the negative feeling, of course, it has a base. The base of that negative feeling is an incident. As I said, for me as a specialist, I don't need to listen to the story. It's enough for me to know the negative feeling. It has its vibrations and then I release it completely so the person will feel better physically and emotionally. In spite of this, I listen to the problem because I know how much does it mean to a person to be listened to. So there's nothing wrong in listening as long as I'm aware because we are reading a lot about being positive. We are aware of the negativity and what it does to us, to our bodies, to our uh, brain, to our emotions. But because of this knowledge, we are capable of listening to others and to deal with that problem, giving advices or asking the right questions, even if we're not specialists. It's a friend relationship. What does it mean to be a friend? At least is to listen to my friend when they have a problem. You know, I get lots of emails and I always answer them. And I always, you find me writing in the end of my email that whenever you need to talk, please send me an email because I know how much it's important for a person to speak out, even, even to write it down, just to let it out. We are, what is unique about us as human beings is having this empathy towards each other and this is what it means to have a society. I'm not talking about abusing uh, the thing by talking. It is, it's always talking to that person because I feel relieved when I speak. I'm talking about someone who is not having it as a habit. And because I am aware, then I can always talk about how we can make things better, how you can feel better, how you can make yourself better. What does it mean to have a friend, you know? 
not not all the time you need a specialist to talk to a friend can even understand more than the specialist specialists are important in our lives at the same time friends are even more important in our lives and to be a friend a real friend is to, is, is to be able to listen to my friend and to have this empathy and sometimes you don't need, need even to advise just listening will be enough because it gives uh, a clearer mind uh, to my friend uh, because when someone is within the problem it's, it's totally different than when I'm witnessing it it's a very critical situation because some people they feel bad about themselves that and and they start questioning does this person uh, like me or because I'm talking about something bad so they are keeping away from me uh, I don't feel good about myself because I'm always talking about the bad stuff and, and they keep it within themselves and it's it's giving a really bad emotional effect and this is not what friends are for a friend is you stand by your friend it's not by judging them or uh, being uh, scared uh, of them that they might hurt me with what they're saying i'm aware enough i have the knowledge to know how to deal with these things especially when they are only talking it's not something really deep so human relations are uh, uh, the main thing in our lives even if you find someone who is running running all the time and doing business and being successful in their business and have a lot of money a lot of things you, you if you don't stand, make a stand, and have this humanity connection, then you're not human. So what differs between us as human beings and other things in life is our humanity and our empathy towards each other. And each one of us has their positives and negatives. If I can bear listening to a friend about something happened to them, then this means that I'm special that she's coming all the way to me to talk to me about her problems. It's not something negative. And when I can be able to help her, it means that I should be proud of myself, that I did what others couldn't do with my dear friend. I went through one of the reasons of my uh, old severe depression. It was because I couldn't find someone uh, who can listen to me and understand me. I didn't have trust in any of the specialists and I didn't want to talk about my private life and um, it caused me to go through severe depression and severe de uh, depression is not just a word it's suffering and I don't want to talk about it because it, it, it's, it's really something bad I don't wish this to anyone but nowadays we have so many emotional problems that sometimes we cannot deal with only speaking about it or writing about it will make that person feel better and this is what I call humanity <sighs> bye